Maybe you've heard of these things called mutual funds. What, what does that even mean? I'm gonna explain. Now before anything else, if you have no idea what the stock market is, how the stock market works, then definitely go uh, and watch the videos that you can see down in the, if you're watching this on YouTube in the description box, if you're on my site, just down below the video, I've linked a couple videos that I've done that explain you know, what the stock market is and how it works. So watch those first because I'm actually gonna carry over an analogy from those videos about pizzas to explain how mutual funds actually work. So with that being said, I'm gonna, from this point forward, assume that you know how the stock market works. And the way a mutual fund works is you have people out there. So you have all these people, could be you, could be your parents, could be you know, your friend next door, it, it could be anybody. And these people are just, you know, they wanna be hands off. I mean, yeah, I, I really, I wanna get involved in the markets, but I don't really wanna necessarily do it myself as in, you know, go and buy a stock for myself or just, you know, I, I just wanna be hands off. And that's probably, that I'm making up this statistic, but that's probably 95% of the population. Most people, they, I'm gonna give it to a financial advisor, I'm gonna give it to a financial planner, you know, a stockbroker, whatever, but they just, they're gonna give their money to somebody else because they don't really wanna be hands-on. So that's really the first step where a mutual fund comes into play is it's gonna be geared towards people that are hands-off. So what are these people gonna do? Well, these people ideally have money, but like I was saying, they just don't wanna manage it, they don't wanna do it themselves. Or they don't wanna do it themselves in terms of you know, having to, to put in all the time and effort that really goes into it. So what are they gonna do? Well, kind of two routes they can go, but they're gonna give it either to a, a financial planner, so this is one way. You, know, you could have the financial planner up there. Let me change this to, to green just to illustrate this is kind of a money guy. And then this guy can go and do this, or they can actually do it themselves. So there's really one of two ways, but when I say do it themselves, you may, what did he say? You just said these people wanna be hands off. Well, that's essentially what a mutual fund allows you to do, is, is, is be hands off with a little bit of hands on. Now, if you wanna be totally hands off, then yeah, they're gonna give it to there, but you know, really, if, if you will just put in a little bit of effort, you can cut out this middleman, save yourself some fees, and it kind of works out better. But point being, this is not like a, a strategy video, it's just what is a mutual fund? So either way, you can either be doing this or a financial advisor can be doing it. And what a mutual fund is, is it's just a big old uh, box. Maybe you've heard it before. If not, maybe you'll hear it at some point. You know, it's like a, a mutual fund is a basket of stocks, meaning there's a bunch of stocks that are within it. But going back to the pizza analogy that I used in what is a stock market, we're gonna call it a box, and inside of this box is a pizza. If you get a pizza like that from the store, demand your money back. That is not a very good circular pizza, but anyways. So you have a pizza inside this box. Now, the special thing about this pizza is how it's actually divided up. Because in the stock market video, remember, a company is just a pizza, and then a pizza can be divided up into many, many pieces, and then those pieces are sold off so that company can raise money. But in those cases, they're all gonna be the same type of pizza, right? Let's just say a company is pepperoni. Every single slice is gonna be pepperoni because that is their company. Another company may be just you know sausage. So their whole pizza is gonna be sausage because that's what their company is. But with a mutual fund, you're getting all kinds of different pieces. So yeah, there's a pizza in the box. The box is known as a mutual fund. But then within that right here, you know, maybe you have a pepperoni, a slice of pepperoni. And then over here, well, that color won't work. You have a slice, and we'll just call it, you know, a cheese pizza, just good old fashioned cheese. Then right here, that's the worst, that's supposed to be a fish. Maybe right here you have some anchovies, all right? So you have a slice of pizza with anchovies on it, and then so on and so forth. You know, you have all these, upper di these different slices, and all these, you know, X, Y, Z, I ran out of letters, so we'll go back to A. You have all these other different types of pizzas. Yeah, it is a pizza, but the way a mutual fund works is, it's putting many slices, many different types of companies into one single asset group known as the fund. 
A fund is just made up of a bunch of slices of pizza. But in lingo, a mutual fund is an instrument. Instrument is the same as, you know, basically picture the instrument as the box where money managers are picking out companies all over the place, all different ones. So Apple, Facebook, uh, you know, GE, Ford, uh, you know, PF Pfizer, all these companies, and then they're putting them into one fund. So what's the point of this? Well, the point of all this has to do with one word, and that word is just, you wanna be diversified. And that's what a mutual fund is allowing you to do. Now, there's many types of mutual funds out there. They're, they all have different goals and ways that they're diversifying, and you know, that's what they will be explained you know, when you read more about them. But that, at its core, is what a mutual fund is doing. It is a very simplistic way to diversify your money within the stock market itself by only buying one thing. So you buy one mutual fund and you're diversified in, in a pretty big way, depending on what that mutual fund is actually doing. So as far as you know, all the nooks and crannies, you know, there's different types of commissions and fee structures for mutual funds. I'm not gonna get into all that, but if you do decide that you wanna be one of these people that, yeah, I wanna be a little hands-on, just realize that there are a couple different uh, you know, fee structures. Maybe I'll do like an advanced mutual funds video at some point where I explain the different types of you know, fee structures. But at its core, that's what a mutual fund is. It's a way to take a whole bunch of stocks that are out there and package them in one box, one basket, one instrument, if you will, or the fund. Put them all into one fund and that is how diversity is accomplished and it's just a really quick way um, for the investor to be able to get involved in a whole bunch of stocks by only buying one thing. I mean, if I wanna just go out there and you know, technically build my own mutual fund, well then I have to personally go buy Apple, then I'd have to go and buy Facebook, then I'd have to go and buy uh, you know, GE, then I'd have to go and buy Ford, then I'd have to go and buy you know, Coca-Cola. And in the process of doing that, yeah, I am technically creating my own mutual fund because I'm diversifying. But if you're thinking, I don't wanna do all that, you just had to go buy all these different stocks. I wanna buy one thing. That's what a mutual fund is. And you know, back to the pizza analogy, it's a box. Within the box is a pizza. However, the pizza is divided up with a whole bunch of different slices. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community. And let me know if you have any questions.